Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. Uh, we're going to be performing a BIOS reset on a Dell laptop. Um, there's two main reasons why we would choose to perform a BIOS reset on a computer. Uh, the first reason being that BIOS is messed up somehow, um, it's not performing correctly and we'd like to get it back to the original settings. Uh, the other reason why we would um, perform a BIOS reset on a computer usually is that your computer is not turning on. Um, if your computer is not turning on, if that's the reason why you're here, make sure you try video number one in the description down below first. Um, that's a less invasive troubleshooting step. Uh, it tests your charger, your battery, and whether or not a static buildup in your computer is the cause for your computer not turning on. So try that video first. If after trying that video your computer still will not turn on, then come here um, and try the BIOS reset simply because it's a more in invasive procedure you've got to get in into your computer. Uh, so that being said, um, if you have any questions or comments, if you get lost anywhere, if, if your computer is not exactly what you're seeing here and you don't know what to do, check out the frequently asked questions below in the description. Um, save you some time. If you can't find your question there, leave us a comment. Uh, I try to get back to you a couple times a day at least. Also, if your computer is uh, turning on and then turning off and then turning on and off and sort of a, a boot loop, that's video number two in the description. And if your computer turns on and you hear the fan and, and you hear clicking, but the screen stays black, that's a black screen fix. That's a separate fix as well. That's video number three in the description. Uh, so to start a BIOS reset, let's turn the computer over. We'll start opening it up. We'll take out the battery, if your computer has an external battery. And then we're going to go along, take out all the screws we can find. Okay, I'm going to slide out. Did I get that screw? Yes, I did. I'm going to slide out my DVD drive. Sometimes they hide screws under there. And they did. Okay, I'll take out those three. I'm going to keep these separate because they're not the same length as the other screws. And then in this computer that I'm using, uh, you have to take off the keyboard as well. Okay, if you do have to take off your keyboard, sometimes there's a little clip here holding the ribbon cable down. There's a little uh, black tab, a plastic tab, it's very fragile. The way this works is they fold down to secure the ribbon cable and they pop up to release. So be very careful with these. You're going to take your little flat head or flat pry tool and pop that up. So you can take your ribbon out. And then I put it back down just for safety so it doesn't get broken. Same thing with this cable here. All right. Now I'm going to remove the screws in here. You may not have to do this with your model, um, but in some of these models you do have to access some screws under your keyboard. A little more of a pain. Alright, so now that that's done, I'm going to take my pry tool, I'm going to go along the seam. Missing one screw here. That one was kind of hard to get out when I was doing it. The threading must be broken on it. Had to choose a broken threading one for the video, huh? All right, so there's the inside of your computer. I'm gonna zoom in and show you exactly where that CMOS battery is located. So let's zoom in here a little bit. Okay, 
Okay, so there's your CMOS battery right there. Right here. Uh, it usually will look like this, a little round. It looks like a large watch battery. Uh, it's set inside a cradle like this. Uh, sometimes, I have a couple of the motherboards here. Sometimes they may look a little smaller. So here's another motherboard. CMOS battery looks a little smaller. And then sometimes they'll look kind of like this. Hang on. They'll look kind of like this. Uh, where your CMOS battery is wrapped in sort of electrical tape with a cable. And the cable plugs into the motherboard on a port instead of sitting in a cradle. So those are the two ways uh, your CMOS battery may look. Uh, keep in mind that these are held in there. These are not very sturdy. Uh, they're kind of fragile. It's, it's, it's easy to break them. So I'm going to move this off to the side. I'm going to use this one to show you how, how we're going to remove it. Now in order to remove this, I'm going to take my flathead screwdriver and, and there's springs under this. It, it, it's held in kind of like a normal battery is held in, but keep an eye on this part right here. If you break that, then there's no way to keep your CMOS battery in there. So I'm going to push on it just a little bit, because there's springs here, push on just a little bit, and then raise it up. Just like that, and it kind of just pops out. So I pushed in, and then I slowly raised it up, taking care not to break this section right here. That's how you would get your CMOS battery out. Uh, leave it out for about an hour. Uh, let the power drain from the motherboard. Uh, that's going to reset your BIOS. Take it back to factory settings when you're done. Uh, you can pop the CMOS battery in there and just snap it, snap it back into place. So that is how you would perform a BIOS reset on your computer. Um, if you are here because your computer wasn't turning on, um, and this was kind of step two in your troubleshooting process, um, and your computer still isn't turning on after this, uh, at that point you would want to check out your charger and your uh, power jack. Make sure that they're working properly. So uh, videos down below will show you how to locate your charger, um, how to test it, and how to test your power jack as well. So uh, if, if that's the process you're into and that's how you found this video. Uh, any questions or comments, again, leave them below. We'll help you out. If this was helpful, please like and share. And if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer repair, uh, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.